Yeah, Keith, they, those sites appear not to be opening up to any time soon. This according to two officials that I spoke with out here at this location today. As you can see behind me, they're set up. They're simply waiting for the proper supplies. This isn't just a very simple operation. Dr. Mayor Shaw of Harris County Public Health is not alone when it comes to understanding the complexities behind drive through testing locations. I think it is it's complex for a number of reasons. Steve Raddick is the county commissioner for the precinct where Legacy Stadium in Katy sits, soon to be home to a new drive through testing facility for Harris County and beyond. There's still putting it together, but basically it appears there's going to be a, kind of a regional concept of this. The opening date? Uncertain. A source of the site says they still have no idea when supplies will arrive. Commissioner Raddick did make one thing clear. Once it does start, the operation will be strictly enforced. And not just anybody can drive up here and be tested once they, once they open. In neighboring Fort Bend County, the Health and Human Services Department posted this tweet telling residents no sites are set up and to not show up to rumored locations. The county also providing additional facts through fbchealth.org. As for the site at Legacy Stadium, there's a call for transparency by area residents. I don't know anything about this. I haven't seen anything posted online about what they're doing here. John Eccles tells Channel 2 Investigates he is frustrated over the lack of information. There's no communication going on with the public, so nobody in the area really knows what's going on here. We know there's a lot of discussions internally about this. They had plans to open up Butler Stadium today, originally according to workers that I spoke to out at the site, but there's also the issue of logistics here. And what I've learned from one source at this site is that expect, once it goes online, to be to have a computer component in this in which users will be reaching out to a nurse uh, online. And then that nurse will give them a specific date and time in which they will end up at this site if all of the symptoms match up and require testing at this location or any other. That's the latest here uh, in Katie. Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Mario.